Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of the Let's Play series. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day and after about a week's break, I am back my friends. We've got some more episodes to come. Christmas is just around the corner and do you guys know what that means? It means we need to get a shimmy on in terms of getting our Christmas tree finish my friends but today we're actually going to begin with the comment question of the video from the last video because we didn't do it in the last episode so from episode 15 glitch and out says Corallis addicted to playing run Grian addicted to pressing everything Python addicted to bury treasure yep yep uh yeah that that that, that uh <laughs> That's very true. It's very true. I think I am actually kind of addicted to uh, going for buried treasure in Minecraft, guys. It's 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 a thing. It's a thing. We need Treasure Anonymous. We need TA here, my friends. Oh, jeez. Oh, goodness me. But anyways, guys, like I say, today we are going to be going ahead and finishing, hopefully, decorating the Christmas tree. Now, what that means is we need to get the tinsel. We need to get the Christmas tree topper, which I'm going to be using uh, redstone lamps and glowstone for, which is why I'm down here getting redstone, because I don't have a lot of redstone. So, yeah. But as always, my friends, if you are still enjoying the series and you do want to continue seeing more, then you guys know what to do, right? You know what to do. You gotta drop a like rating, my friends. That's what you gotta do. But guys, can I just say a massive thank you for all of the support while I had a little bit of an unannounced break here on the channel. So basically, guys, in my in my you know personal life, I've been I've been dealing with some uh, weird anxiety nausea. So basically, I'd wake up every morning. In fact, it's been like that for about a week and a half since I got back from the Yorkscast Jingle Jam. Pretty much that's when it started. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically, I wake up every morning and then I just have a really bad bout of nausea. Like I never. Actually, want to fully throw up. I mean, I'll heave, but I won't properly throw up. I'm well aware that this is probably not a great topic to be talking about. But uh, yeah, it's 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 the reason why there's been a bit of a gap in episodes. I mean, I've still got a little bit of the nausea going on now, but uh, I've, I've got some I've got some meds going on, and I feel like that they're starting to kick in now. So I feel like I'm well enough to the point where I can make videos again. So you know, that is a good thing. But yeah, uh, you know, anxiety isn't really something I've suffered with in like four years. So. It's it's kind of a foreign thing to me to have it happen. So yeah, I mean last time it sort of went away by itself And I'm hoping that uh, this time with the help of meds it will go away even quicker. So yeah Anyways with all of that said and done my friends, you know story time with Python over uh, Guys, we've got ourselves a bunch of redstone We've got uh, another stack of redstone back at base here And basically what we need to do is we need to make for ourselves a ton of redstone lamps if we can that is I need 32 That's the exact amount. I need 32 Right 32 there we go And then we've got some glowstone left and then we've got the redstone dust here so we can go ahead and uh, power up these redstone lamps. So yeah, this is going to be what we use to make our Christmas tree topper. And you know what? I feel like we should start off today's episode by doing that. We're going to make ourselves a Christmas tree topper. So guys, since the last episode, I've not been idle. I have put snow on top of that tree up there. You can see it, huh? It looks beautiful. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about is if it rains, doesn't that melt the snow? Hmm. I don't know. But anyways, guys, yeah, check it out. We've got ourselves the uh, snow farm just up here. Very, very basic design. There's a hopper minecart down there, and then you've got all the snowballs down there. Very, very simple design. It's so stupidly easy if we can toddler could do it. So, yeah, we're looking pretty good, guys. So what we need to do is grab ourselves a bunch of scaffolding blocks or whatever and get up top there. Oh, yeah. Did I mention I've lit up this island as well? So basically, when I place down some uh, snow golems next, they should be able to stay alive a bit better. You know what I'm saying? They should be able to stay alive and... Uh, you know, actually stay around for Christmas. We've had like a couple rounds of those freaking snow golems go ahead and die on us. So yeah, we need to we, we, we need to like not have them die so much. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so ladies and gents, the time has come. We're going to make ourselves a Christmas tree topper. We're going to start it from here. And it's going to be like a sort of like a spherical shape of, with like uh, with like spikes coming out of it. So yeah, anyways, we need ourselves the dirt here because we're going to go up like this. We're going to go up two rather like this. Okay, and then we're going to go up here. And then uh, finally, we're going to top ourselves off just up here. And yeah, I think I have miscalculated this. I said I needed 32, but uh, in actual fact, I'm pretty darn sure I'm going to need quite a lot more. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> I really underestimated this one, my friends. Oh, goodness me. Okay, right. Well, uh, yeah. So that's eight. 
And yeah, I still need to do like going round here as well, right? Oh jeez. Python, you and your miscounter, you silly noob. Right, boom, okay, boom, and then boom, boom. Okay, coolio. Right, okay, so, uh, actually, we only need eight more, I think, and then we'll be okay. So, place this bad boy down, let's get eight more of these, there we go. Oh, no, we've run out of glowstone, though, okay, uh, huh. We're going to need a bit more than that, my friendos. Okay, well, uh, let's go grab ourselves some glowstone from the from the base real quick, and then we'll get back to this Christmas star. Alrighty, guys, so now to power these bad boys. Ah, that's not worked as well as I wanted it to. Okay, so in the creative version that I did on my uh, on my build world, I used redstone blocks, and that powered the uh, things underneath. So, yeah. Oh, that's weird. Alright, oh, because I did that. Alright, okay. So, uh, yeah. Basically, we are going to need redstone blocks, and that means we're going to need to go mining again. Oh, man. Ah, I thought I was prepared for this build, man, but uh, no. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm probably the least prepared person you'll ever see in your entire life. Okay, so uh, as well as that, I'm also well aware of the fact that I need to get some more snow layers because uh, I did get rid of a, rid of some in favour of like a dirt scaffolding block just to get back up to the star there. But uh, from down here, it's looking pretty good so far. Like proportionally speaking, I think that's looking pretty darn good. So, guys, we need redstone. Let's get some. Ah. Beautiful, beautiful redstone. There's so much of it. Oh my goodness me. Right, there we go. All right, so that should be enough uh, for the redstone blocks required to get our uh, star going. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're looking pretty good. All right, guys, so here we are. Redstone blocks are up and running. All we need to do is place them all in. And it turns out I don't actually... What? How bad am I at freaking calculating how much stuff I need? Right, uh, eight, I think, maybe, I don't know. Am I doing, like, am I overcomplicating this? I feel like I am. There should be a much, much easier way to go ahead and light all this stuff up. I mean, surely there's got to be an easier way. Ah, here we go. I knew that there would be a much less complicated way of powering this thing. Okay, coolio. Right, so with all of that done, guys, all we need to do is do the little spiky things. And basically all that means is doing this and then having this come out of block. And then we go out one diagonally, rather like that, okay? Uh, we need to do the same on the bottom here. Uh, so, yep, right here. Uh-huh. And then we need to do that on all four of the sides here. So it should be pretty simple once it comes down to it. Uh, so, yep, glowstone, glowstone, dirt, dirt, glowstone. Yep, there we go. Pop back down here and do the underside. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there could be a remix made out of that. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Every time I say that, someone actually does it. <laughs> Oh gosh, right, okay, here we go, going out, boom, you go there, mm-hmm, get down here, and do a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, uh-huh, and then one more side over here, and we have a Christmas star. Guys, we will have a Christmas star. Hey guys, you know what? From afar, that Christmas topper looks pretty freaking good. I'd probably also argue that it's kind of large compared to the tree, but uh, when you're working with even numbers, which is what we did here, yeah, things can get a little bit tricky, shall we say. But uh, anyways, guys, what I'm now in the process of doing is trying to grab myself some various dyes because, guys, some of you guys were wrong in the previous episode. You guys, well, some of you folks were saying that uh, the colours of the sheep don't mix when you breed them. Well, uh, they do. They do. When you mix a red and yellow sheep together, they will give birth to an orange offspring. So, where are they? Where are they? There they are. Look at that. You see? See? I didn't dye these guys. They came out like that, man. They came out like that. That wasn't me. It wasn't me at all. All right, so here we go. I need to need to shear all of you folks here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me all your wool. I need it all. I need it all for the Christmas tree of epicness. Oh, yes, I do. All right, so yeah, we're going to do the tinsel, and then we're going to put a whole bunch of lanterns on there, and then believe it or not, I think I'm probably going to call it good after that. Uh, well, aside from maybe some bubbles. <laughs> okay, so... Got the presents, got the tree, got the Christmas tree topper. Uh, we've got a bunch more wool. Uh, so, yeah. 
Let's do this thing, man. I'm ready. All right, guys. So check it out. I have made a bit of a start and put in the tinsel up. We've got the yellow tinsel going on. I started it at the bottom sort of back of the little mini tree there and then sort of wrapped it round there, which is pretty awesome. Now, what we're going to do with the red one is basically start from the back and then wrap it round. So basically, we'll have like a nice little spiral shape going on, right? So that's the intention. But in the meantime, guys, check it out. We have a traveling merchant. Look at this fella. All right, what do you got for me? Wow. I'll be honest with you. All of these are pretty crummy. I've literally got everything here. I've got literally all of this nearby. Yeah. <laughs> Don't need you. Oh, God, what? Okay. He literally just Houdini'd. That's insane. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, apparently we've got magical traveling merchants now, so that's a thing. All right, well, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get on with doing the red tinsel. And like I said, we're going to start it around the back here and then go up uh, in an anti-clock... Uh, no, sorry, a clockwise fashion, more to the point. So, uh, let's begin it. So, let's go up and ride the light this. And basically, all I'm doing, guys, is I'm going up once every two blocks so we'll go one up there one there we'll go up here uh and then maybe we'll wrap it around here and then we need to somehow get on top again like this uh-huh okay and then wrap it around bring it around town you guys know how we roll at this point oh yeah all right we're gonna go up again rather like so and again going up uh-huh. Okay, and again going up right here. Gonna go up rather like this. And then up like this. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, I think we've got a good thing going on here. Right, now all we need to do is get rid of all of the supporting dirt. Otherwise, it's gotta look a little bit crummy, isn't it? Uh, and then I think we'll be just about done here. Right? Right? I think we'll be done. And I'm gonna be real happy about it. Uh-huh. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's get rid of that block, and that block, and any more blocks to get rid of. I don't think so. I think we're just about there. Okay, guys, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. So, let's get out the island real quick, and let's have a little bit of a look-see-doo-doo. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is epic. Look at that, man. Oh, that's so cool. Huh? Huh? That's cool. I love this. Okay, so, guys, check this out. Got myself black glazed terracotta because it's got black and red. We've got red, we've got yellow. So, all of this is going to match the tinsel quite well, right? So, we've got all of these things. And what these are going to be are the baubles. Now, I did consider putting spruce fences so they look like they were dangling. But I don't actually think that's going to work that well. So, we're just going to sort of dot them around the place on here. There's only 24 blocks. So, it's going to be pretty sparse. I think a nice Christmas tree shouldn't be too busy, in my opinion. So, yeah, I feel like these three color blocks uh, sparsely populating the tree here should make for a pretty classy looking tree i hope so yeah all right guys give me just a minute i'm gonna place all of these bad boys in and we'll see how it's looking Okay, guys, so with all of the baubles put up, and by the way, they are looking pretty darn nice, if I do say so myself. I think that what we could probably do with these lanterns, since you can't dangle them from leaf blocks, I kind of figured that maybe what we do is we dangle it from the tinsel instead, okay? So, if we go ahead and uh, just whip ourselves up another nerd pole here, then we should be able to get ourselves some lanterns placed in, and then it should be nicely lit up, right? So, I'm not going to do it like every block are gonna do it maybe every couple blocks yeah okay I, I i i think that could work pretty well right so yep we've got that one there uh we're gonna do one there uh-huh and then we're gonna sort of start going around obviously i can't put one there because there's leaves in the way so there's gonna be one here and then we could just carry on around the edge here uh-huh, and I'm hoping that this is going to look good, because at the end of the day, as I keep saying, that's all I want to do in this game. I want to make things look good, my dudes. Oh, yeah. Okay, so one there, and okay, so that's actually done. The, uh, the yellow tinsel is pretty much done in terms of being illuminated of awesome. Okay, so we'll have ourselves a little bit like that. Uh-huh. Okay, a little bit like that. We'll bring this around town. Okay, I'm going to have to try and get on top here real quick. There we go. And we've got to bring ourselves in another one there. 
And then one there. Okay. Starting to get the real nice like my friends. Starting to get the real nice. Okay. And then we can bring ourselves right here. Another little lantern there. Okay. One there. Oh man, this is so cool. I love decorating trees. Like both a real life and on this game. I feel I feel like it's one of the most uh, cool things you can do. Okay, guys, I think we're just about there. I think we're just about there. So let us get rid of that. Let's put this back in. Okay, we'll do that, and we'll have a little bit of a look at our Christmas tree. Our Christmas tree for 2019, my friends. The very last Christmas tree of the 2010s decade. Guys, it's 2020 next year. Can you can you imagine that? That's awesome. 2020 next year, seeing another new decade is awesome. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Christmas tree is done. Christmas Island is just about there. There is only one thing missing from that place now, and that is our snow golem resident friends so we've got five more pumpkins here let's go ahead and shear them all boop, 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 boop. there we go dig them all back up grab some snow blocks and then we can get these bad boys placed in oh yeah okay guys I hope that you have enjoyed this Christmas Island project for this year. Uh, because, yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this one. It's been something that we've evolved over time as we've gotten more and more resources. And honestly, I am feeling pretty darn good about what we've done here. So, here we go. Let's just place those back in. And ladies and gents, let's grab the snow blocks real quick. And bada boom, that's one. Bada boom, that's two. Okay, we'll have one round here. Bada boom, that's three. But up oh jeez uh oh no no not again not again not again ah no I don't want them to die no please don't die on me I don't want to die I don't want them to die dude I'm gonna be so sad if they die again jeez okay right what's the light levels around here oh we've got a pretty low light level around here I should probably rectify that because the hostile mobs will be able to spawn here. But there we go, ladies and gents. Aside from the, you know, the flaming arrows going on there. We're good. We're good, baby. We're freaking good. The Christmas Island is done. And I'm feeling pretty darn good about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this project, like I say. Because, uh, yeah, it's it's been a good one. It's been a good one. I've really, really enjoyed it. I love love doing christmas things in minecraft and terraria for that matter and uh, yeah it's it's looking great so guys let's get the comment question of the video here which for this episode comes from cameron coates what are you going to do with the christmas island when christmas is over that is the question isn't it so for the most part i'm kind of thinking that i'm just gonna leave it i like having little mementos to uh, you know you know previous events that have happened in the world for example on one of my really old series i had like an episode 100 firework monument that i kept the entire time just as a little bit of a nod back to uh, little events in the in the past and to be honest i kind of feel like just leaving this thing here might be a nice way to go or failing that we could go ahead and you know evolve it over time and then just like change the tree or whatever but I'm not entirely sure I want to do that. I feel like that's going to take a lot of effort. And uh, I don't know. We're kind of removing a part of our world when we do that. So, yeah. I'm kind of tempted to just leave this thing here as a memento to 2019 Christmas. 2019 December. And then just keep working around this area, right? So, yeah. Guys, I love this Christmas tree. I truly do. I think it's a fantastic project. I am a big fan of it. And guys, uh, I think there's actually one more thing I want to do today's episode because I don't think we've got to a proper length yet in terms of today's episode. And uh, that is we're going to go ahead and make like a similar kind of railing uh, going along this uh, riverside here, going all the way around basically. That's all I want to do. Something nice and simple to finish up today uh, because I like it when things are nice and simple. So yeah. Right. I do want to grab myself some cobbles stone because yeah that's going to be part of our railing design so yeah let's go grab ourselves some cobble and let's begin Alrighty, guys well as you guys know that i like to go for a nice simplistic design with my railing so we've got ourselves a little log pillar here five blocks of cobblestone then another log pillar right so let's go ahead and see if we can't do a little something something here so i'm thinking of doing uh, a leaf and then a fence and then uh, another fence there another leaf there and then maybe here we could have ourselves like a little oh do you know what that reminds me of my old winter village do you know what we could do do you know what we could do we could do ourselves like a little bit of a lamppost rather like this on either side 
Yeah! Okay, and then we can have like flower pots on top of here, right? Because, you know, I am the flower pot master at the end of the day. We need to continue the old meme, don't we, guys? Huh? Yeah. Okay, so let's get you on that side, get you on that side. Lantern and lantern. So for those of you guys unaware, the, the way I'm getting my lanterns is by trading. It's like by far the easiest way of doing it and certainly the most... Well, the least expensive way of getting it as well. So, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Ah, this is good. This is good. This is a good time, guys. This is a good time. I'm very happy with this. So, let's go ahead and get all of this uh, design done around the place here. And then we should have ourselves a pretty nice looking area going on. Huh? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Alright guys, so we're just about approaching the end of our little project with the railings here today. Just a couple more fences to make and then we'll be just about there. So let's get ourselves eight of those, make ourselves a bunch more fences and this will be the little final section uh, for now anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead, I'm pretty sure we need to go up one more block, there we go. We're gonna need to get rid of that one and then chuck the lanterns in and there we go. Okay, yeah. Nicely illuminated the situation around here, huh? Okay, well, let's go and uh, pick up some random flowers. Just got to dot them around inside of the flower pots here. And then we should be just about done for today's episode. So, yeah, once again, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this little uh, Christmas Island project. It's been something that I've wanted to do for a little bit now. And, uh, yeah, it's it's nice having a nice little memento to Christmas, uh, you know, really, really nearby. Now, obviously, last year we had, what was it, the Winter Village that we did? Was that, was that last year? Was that 2017? No, it was it was last year, wasn't it? 2018. So, yeah. It's nice to have something nearby, basically. I mean, the Winter Village was all good and well, but uh, it, was a, it was a fair way away from everything, wasn't it? So, yeah. Anyways, that... What? Hey! Why... Why... Why is it... Why is there no lantern up here? What was I thinking? Was I, was I drunk when I made this lamppost? I don't know. There we go, though. Coolio. Okay, right. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Christmas Island project is officially done. I'm very, very happy to say that. Probably the only other thing I might do is on the 24th or 25th of December. I can't remember when it is. I think it's the 25th. Oh, hello. Uh, but uh, basically, there is a very, very slight seasonal change that they make to the texture of chests, right? They make the chests in Minecraft all look like presents. And I think it'd be a cool idea if on those days we go ahead and put some presents down. Because, you know, Christmas Day, it presents, it goes hand in hand, doesn't it? So... Yeah, awesome stuff, guys. Awesome, awesome stuff. Plenty of things done today. I'm feeling pretty good, and I hope you guys have enjoyed today's project as well. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please do have a fantastic rest of your day, wherever you are. And I will see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>